Hello and welcome back to Russ Plays Games. My name is Russ, and as you can see, we are back to Let's Play Dune for the PC. Um, again, this game came out back in 1990, 91, something like that. Um, it was a 4X game, which for the time was very ambitious. Um, this was actually at the same time that Westwood Studios, which had um, made a splash with their Command & Conquer game, had also acquired the rights to produce a Dune video game. That became Dune 2 Battle for Arrakis. Um, and then from that, that split off into um, a remake called Dune 2000, and then there was Emperor Battle for Dune, which was kind of the sequel. Um, and then from there, there was like a few other games that have been made for Dune. Um, and there's currently in development an open world Dune game that is kind of loosely based on the, on the 2021 film. Like visually, like the worms look very much like they did in that one. Um, like the desert looks very much like it did in Dune 2021. Um, they haven't released it yet, um, so it'll be interesting to see where they did what they did with it. So, <clears throat> when last we left off, um, we were um, going around and uh, um, doing some uh, crazy explorations, and we were doing some various different things. Um, Okay, okay, okay. Let me go there. Flying an ornie. Um, let me see here. What's going on, man? We're repairing our equipment. Oh. So we We're doing spice mining. That's why. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to suck. And let me guess. You're repairing your equipment, too. Uh, let me guess. You're repairing your equipment, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. All right. Day. Fine. Meh. Okay. So, as I was trying to say before, we were so early interrupted. Um, so, when last we left off, um, we found Stilgar. Um, Stilgar is the Fremen leader. Something must be done. Um, and... We um, introduced him to our father. We went around and contacted some Fremen troops. Um, we have a bunch of troops um, over here training with um, with uh, Gurney Halleck. Okay, we left him at that siege, and he is training them in the art of combat. Um, and when we got back to the palace, um, we found out that uh, we found this message um, from Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, who said that he had devastated a siege because Dune was his planet. Um, we heard this. Now, funnily enough, we actually heard this in um, the 2021 Dune Part 1. Where um, Stellan Skarsgård's um, uh, Baron Harkonnen, um, when uh, Gaius Helen Mohayim comes to him and is like, you know, you will leave Paul Atreides alone, you know, you will, you know, you will leave Paul and Jessica alone, and and he's like, you have my word, and then he's like, and he's like, but, and then uh, Piter is like, well, but sir, if they live, and he's like, they won't live. Arrakis is a fierce planet. And he's like, my planet, my dune. So you've seen the message. This crime cannot go unpunished. I'm planning a punitive expedition with my personal guard. I'm sure Thufir Hawat will agree with this. No, he won't. So you've seen the message. Oh, Paul, how I can feel. 
feel this power in you. Could he be the one? Believe me, Paul, I can sense that your powers have increased. You are now able to contact Fremen in a wider range. And every once in a while, if you talk to Lady Jessica, um, she will, like, increase your powers. I mean, it's a part of the game, but when she tells you that your, your powers increase, you will. Now, there is something that you can do a little later on in the game, but you're not going to do it right away. Um, dude, seriously, what the hell? I'm trying to talk here. You don't need to get all judgmental with me. My God. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I've always seen Dune since, since I was born. You know, I've, I'm still ready to follow you. Okay. Um. I'm sure you enjoyed the view. So you've seen the message. All right. So now we need to go and talk to um, Thufer. The Duke is losing his temper. It's still too early to attack the Harkonnens from the front. Moreover, wait, a new message has arrived. Look at the new message before we continue. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> Baron Harkonnen, you know, um, said last time that he wanted to attack us um, to show us that, that this is his planet, not ours. They're just a bunch of punks. Did you intend to frighten the great Harkonnens with them? You haven't a chance. You will soon die. Okay, of course, that is Fade Rotha. Um, the likeness that they used was um, that of Sting um, from the 1984 Dune movie. This okay. is Fade Rotha Harkonnen. He is really insane. Watch out. He may be very dangerous. Soon our Fremen will be formidable warriors. The Harkonnens are very numerous in the area north of the palace, and they're heavily armed. Now, if we have to attack, it would be better in Stilgar's native area, Ergsen. The Harkonnens there are very far from the Arakin palace. The Harkonnen weak spot is there. Go and tell this to the Duke. He may listen to you. Okay. So, basically, <clears throat> you know, we, we found out that the uh, that the guys, um, that because the Harkonnens have attacked us, the Duke wants to go and, and attack back. Okay. Um, and, you know, we've tried to tell him, don't do that. And now Thufur saying, don't go straight at the Arakeen Palace. Go over here and attack some of their fortresses. Thufir Hawat is overprudent. I'll never run away from these Harkonnen brutes. It's no use insisting. I have made up my mind. I'm going to leave as soon as my guard is ready. And you, Paul, must stay here and continue what you have begun. You're doing well, and I'm proud of you. However... If I do not return, I hope that you will remember me as a good father and as a duke who showed courage in the face of danger. I know you did everything you could to stop him. I'm afraid nothing could be done to prevent his decision. Stop worrying. You must continue on. So, Duke Leto is now going to, uh, to go and... Um, um, attack the Harkonnens. Um, even though we told him don't do that. So, you know, that's his, that's his problem. If he wants to do it, we can't stop him. Okay. Let's talk I to understand Duncan. that you're worried about your father. He will return. But life goes on here. The Fremen I see often complain about worm attacks. The worms arrive suddenly and attack the harvesters. If the miners don't have an orny, they can't watch for or avoid the worms. Paul, you have to get some ornies. 
It has come to my attention that in the villages there are smugglers who trade equipment and other items for spice. Here are our current stocks of spice. You can notice that yesterday we produced less spice than the day before. The next demand from the emperor will be in five days. Do remember that spice is by far the most valuable substance in the whole universe. And that it can only be found here on Doom. Okay. So now, if we look at our Dune map, you can see that our range has indeed increased. Okay. Um, we still can't contact like those guys yet, um, but we can contact a few more sieges. Okay, now, we need to exit the maps really quick, so we need to talk to Stilgar. The villages were made by immigrants. Fremen don't usually go to villages. We don't even know their locations very well. I've never been to a village. I remember a tale about the village in the fish's mouth. Mm. I always see shadows at night. Okay. So, she said, in the fish's mouth. Well, there's only one place that looks like a fish on the whole of Arrakis, and that's this com that's this place right here. Okay? So we're going to take an orny, and we're going to point it right here at the fish's mouth, because she said, the village in the fish's mouth. Okay? So, we're going to point to that, and we're going to head out there. Going to take a little bit to get there, but that's fine. In the meantime, I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that, about Dune and about some other things. So, as you can see, the Harkonnens in this one are very different than what you've seen before. Um, I don't believe they actually put Beast Rabban in this game. Um, just because I think they just kind of went, eh, we don't really need to. He's not necessary. Um, and so we kind of, you know, looked at... Um, so when when Cryo was developing this game, they tried to spend a lot of time um, building up. You know, they they kind of like read the book and they took some of the events in the book and they kind of took some artistic license. So instead of like the Harkonnens coming and attacking you on Dune, they had Duke Leto leave to go attack the Harkonnens because they attack a siege. Um, this whole notion of gaining an alliance with the Fremen, that was kind of Duke Leto's idea. He sent Duncan Idaho out into the desert to forge a friendship with them. Um, that is something that they totally embraced. And so that's why you meet Hurrah and Stilgar, and you'll meet some other notable Fremen as well. But we're coming up on the fish's mouth now. Um, but that was something that Cryo really took a lot of pleasure in when they did this game, is they wanted to make sure that it was doing well. And a lot of these like flight sequences and stuff like that, these were made looks specifically. Like a there on the left. Um, it it looks like they spent um, a whole bunch of time um, and love on putting a lot of effort into these flight sequences. Okay. And um, because they built them specially for that. Okay. Uh oh. We have finished our prospecting job. Okay. Now, we can talk to this one. Here you are. The best place on Dune to buy all kinds of equipment. You name it, I have it. Well, let me see if I have something for you. I have a spice harvester for trade. Here's my price for it. Now, we can argue the price, we can accept that price, or we can refuse that price. So if we argue that price... I'm making you another offer. For a spice harvester, that's a real bargain. Okay. Okay. So, it's always possible to come to an agreement, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's yours now. Send someone to pick it up. Make sure that I get paid for this. Don't worry, you'll get paid. Let me see if I have... I have an orny for trade. Here is my price for it. Here is my final price. Remember, we are talking about an orny. Okay. Okay. 
It's yours now. Well, let me see if I have nothing to trade at the moment. Sorry. Okay. So, we will take an ornithopter. Um, let's see here, actually, let me let me look at the dune map. Um, okay, so you're doing spice mining. Um, change troop occupation. Go search for. Yay! It'll save lives. Okay. We're doing spice mining. Okay. <laughs> Um, now let's go, actually, let's go, let's see, let's go up there, flying Norny. okay, um, let's see, let's spice density. Spice prospectors. Our ability is increased. Let me show you the statistics of my troop. Prospecting has been done in this area. We can go elsewhere. Show me right. three sieges where you want me to go. Okay, I want you to go there, there, and there. Okay. okay. It's been days. Journey Halleck, we are doing military. Our ability is increasing. Nice. We are now efficient in military matters. Awesome. May I show you the characteristics of my troop? Gurney Halleck is a very qualified instructor. Our Conans are not very far from here. Would you like me to repeat what I said? What? It's been days since we've heard from you. Gurney Halleck is here. No, really? We are doing military training. Our <laughs> ability is increasing. We are now Still. skilled in military. Have a look Good. at the character. Gurney Halleck is a very Conan son. Would you like me to repeat what I said? What? It's been days since we've heard from you. Gurney Halleck is here. We are doing military training. Our ability is increasing. May I show you the character? Gurney Halleck is a Arconan. Would you like okay. me to repeat what I said? It's been days. Gurney Halleck. We are doing military. Our ability is. May I show you the character? Gurney Halleck is a Arconan. Would you like me to repeat what I said? Muadib. Okay. Now, if we look at the spice density map, you can see that. Um, that there's an area in between here. So if we go up to Ergson Haber, okay, and if we take an Orny, and if we kind of fly right in the middle of where that thing is, we should be able to find something. Okay, so we're just gonna take a minute and kind of fly through. So yeah, Cryo did a um, Cryo did a really good job with this um, game, and and I'll say this: I've never actually played with any like real intensity the um, Dune Two or Dune Two Thousand. Um, so I really don't have a good grasp on that game. I would like to get Dune 2000 for the PlayStation because I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, I think it would be really good to fly over there. I mean, to uh, to, to play it and be able to it do it. It looks like a siege there on the left. Alright. This siege. You are really amazing, Wadiba. You like our sieges, don't you? I do, actually. We saw you coming from the other siege. These Harkonnens have despised us and treated us badly for too long. You can count on my troops for aid in your battles. Awesome! My troop is awaiting your orders. Ah, there's nothing like military training. Here are the characteristics of my troop. Okay. Glad to have some Chris knives. My men will have to show me where you want me to go. Okay. So I just sent him to Erx and Timon, because that's where these guys are. Okay. So now you can see our prospectors are actually working here with them. 
because they're gonna prospect the, they're gonna pros, you know, they're gonna be able to do it. Okay. So let's take an orny. And let's go back to the house really quick. Close. travels with you, Paul. I want to go back to my place. Tuano Timon. Okay. So, she wants to go back to Tuano Timon. So, let's go back to Tuano Timon. Skip to destination. The Harkonnens are attacking us. Okay. You'd better talk with the Fremen chiefs. Thank you, Paul, for bringing me here. We're doing spice mining. Our ability is increased. May I show you the characteristics? Spice is harder to mine. Have a look at our spice production. Okay. Um. Alright, Earth Egg. Earth Egg Okay, so. Yeah, as you can see. Skip to the destination, and now if we look at the Dune map, you can see that our guys are like there. If we try to contact them, don't try to contact your men. No, these men are our prisoners now. Now you can see what great fighters we are. Don't try to contact your men. All right. Um, so that's something that the Harkonnens will do every once in a while, is they will try to, like, take over your sieges and stuff. Um, and the way that you can get your guys back is you have to move them, um, and, like, you have to kind of go and see where they are and kind of how you can try to, um, to get them back. Um, so... So let me. We're doing spice. May I show you the care? Spice is harder to mine. Let me show you. Okay. Would you like me to? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move these guys up here. Okay. okay. Now let's exit the maps. Let's walk back in. Here are our current stocks of spice. You can notice that yesterday, our spice production was better. The next demand from the Emperor will be in two days. Ah, uh, one moment. I have received some kind of bill. Let me find it. Yes, here it is. It's a bill from a smuggler. Payment has to be made in spice. Look at this bill. Do you want me to send that much spice to this smuggler? Okay, that'll be done. Do remember that spice is... Okay. I'm still amazed by this change in your eyes, Paul. Okay. I was waiting until Harrow wasn't with us. I have something to tell you. Okay, Stilgar. I'd like you to meet somebody. I think it's important for you. Ooh, who could that be? I want us to go to Oxtime Tavern, west of the village we found. I've indicated it on your map. Okay. Well... Let us go to Oxtine Tavern. We have finished our prospecting. Okay, so before we walk in there. go back to Oxnine Tavern. I wasn't expecting them to be done. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to them. We are the Spice Prospectors. We have already been here for many days. 
Okay, so... Why don't you go there, there, and there. Alright, now... Let's take an Ornithopter. Now let's go back to Oxstein Tabber. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Yeah, so, gee, I wonder who he wants us to move. Or meet. Hmm. A worm has swallowed our hearts. Uh, I've heard about you, Paul Atreides. You respect our people. We've waited for a man like you for a long time. I was born here and loved this planet. Have you seen the desert at night? It's so beautiful. So... These deserted sieges, they always make me sad. This is Chani. Or Chaney in the 2000 miniseries. Um, she was played by Zendaya in the 2021 movie, by Barbora Kodedova in um, Dune 2000, and in 1984 was played by Sean Young. Uh, can I do anything? I was born here and love this. Follow you? Okay. But I don't want to travel far from this place. These deserted sieges. Oh, I love telling you about my. Now you understand why I've waited for her to leave us. Have you noticed how she gazes at you, Paul? There are no Fremen troops here. Someone was here at one time. They left some equipment. We can use it. Did you notice the Ornies? I was born here and loved this planet. Have you seen the desert at night? These deserted sieges. Okay, so I think what we have to do is we have to get Stogar to stay here for a minute. Um. There are no friends. Someone. Did you notice the Ornies? Okay, and then we go. We go out into the desert. We wait for evening. The desert. You, um. Uh, may I call you Paul? Yes. Oh, Paul. This moment is unique. Being here next to you with all these worlds above us. I want to be close to you. It's so good to be near you. I. Uh, I think I fall in love with you. I want to be with you every day. This is so... With Chani's help, you will soon be a real Fremen Wadib. A Fremen leader. I've never been in love before, Paul. You're quite a remarkable man. Okay. So... Let's go grab Stilgar. <laughs> there are no Fremen troops here. Come on. Yes, Mwadib. Someone was here at once. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. All right. Um, let me take a look at the siege. Uh, there's some Chris knives here. There's a couple of harvesters, a couple of hornies. Um, okay. Taking another factor. Doxstein Tuick. I cannot say if you will be able to bring good to our people. Yes, I believe in you, Wadiba. My troop is awaiting your orders. Ah, there's nothing like military training. Let me show you the statistics of my troop. Glad to have some Chris knives. My men will appreciate it. Show me where you want me to go. Okay. Um...
Okay. Welcome, Wadi. I see Shani is with you. I remember when she was just a baby. Mm. These Harkonnens have despised us and treated us badly for too long. You can count on my troops for aid in your battles. My troop is awaiting your orders. Ah, there's nothing like military training. May I show you the characteristics of my... Okay. Show me where you want me to go. Mm, make sure I'm We're doing so military let's training. do this. Um, okay. Let's search for equipment. There we go. Sweet! Okay, um... Let me see here. Let's talk to this one really quick. Let me see if I have something for you. I have a spice harvester for trade. Here's my price for it. Mm, well, I don't like to haggle over the price, but I'll cut it down to this. Okay. Okay. It's your well. Let me see if I have an orny for trade. Here is my price for it. Here is my final price. Remember. We are talking about an army. Okay, it's your well. I have a spice harvester for trade. Here is my price for it. Oh, a spice harvester of the highest quality. At this price, I'm losing money. Okay, fine. Okay, it's your well. Let me see if I have something for you. I have a spice harvester for trade. Here is my price for it. Hmm, well, I don't like to haggle over the price, but okay. I... Okay. It's yours. Well, I have nothing to trade at the moment. Sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Thank you. Yes, the flippin' guy wants his stupid spy shipment. Okay. The Emperor wants his spice shipment. Paul, I was sure you were coming. It's terrible. The Duke is dead. He was killed by the Harkonnens. Zufir will give you all the details. It's terrible. Paul, I tell you these Harkonnens are beasts. They're completely without mercy. You're right. The Duke is dead. He was killed... By the way... Remember, there's a message for you with the communication. A lot of different rooms in your palace. Look at the new message before we continue. Searching new messages. Message from the Emperor Shadam the Fourth. You don't want a shipment of spice today. He wants 4,010 kilograms. Anyway, you surely must be able to attack some remote Harkonnen fortresses by now. Still be very careful. As far as I know, the Duke and his guard didn't have much chance to fight. The transportation ornaments were spotted by the Harkonnen troops and shot down. Paul. We have to find another means of transportation if we want to beat these Harkonnens. I wonder how the Fremen have done it in the past. Well, I can see you found another Fremen girl. She's nice looking, Paul. If only I... I'm sure she'll help you to gain a better knowledge of the Fremen. We can't let these Harkonnens attack our sieges like that. We must show them what we can do to their fortresses. Okay. Here are our current stocks of spice. You can notice that yesterday we produced less spice than the day before. The Emperor asked for it. We can send him what he asked for, as we currently have enough spice in... Okay, good. Let's go. I'm staying here. Okay. 
Okay. We're sending another cargo shipment of spice to the Emperor. Yay. The spice has been shipped. Now we don't have to... Ah, the answer is... sent me the spice I've asked for good. You'll hear from me in five days. As far as I know, all. So, let's go grab Johnny. I'm not sure. Ask still go. Yes, Paul. Oh, I love telling you about my name. For you, worms mean danger. As a matter of fact, they do attack harvesters and men sometimes. But, as incredible as it may sound to you, Fremen use worms to travel in the desert. We ride them. Nice. I guess you should be able to now ride a worm, Paul. Let's go out into the desert. Okay, before we do that, Whenever you have Chani with you, when you look at the mirror, she will be right with you. Okay. And because we hadn't saved in a little while, I thought we might as well go ahead and save. Uh oh. Now what? We have finished our time. Okay, fine. Um okay. Back out here like this, we can call a worm. Then we can hit Trades Palace. Carthag. Whoop. Whoa! Worm. Oh yeah, baby. Paul, you have now perfected the riding of the worm. You now know almost everything about the Fremen. Hell yeah! Why don't you tell Thufir Howard about the worm? Hell yeah! These Fremen do have surprises. Riding worms seems incredible. This could be the perfect way to go to the Harkonnen fortresses. That's an advantage for sure, but... I've been thinking. We still lack something. Something that would turn the balance. Something that the Harkonnens can't imagine, even in their most pessimistic plans. <laughs> don't ask me what. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you could find it. My feeling is that the answer is here, in this very palace. Okay. So now... You're doing a great job, Paul. Hmm. I wish Leto was here. He would be so proud of you. So, Thufir told you about something hidden in this palace. Yes. Yes. It is possible. So, Thufir, we both will try to examine the few rooms we can access. Go ahead. I'm following you. Stay here. Okay. Yeah, I feel nothing particular in this room. 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 I've just found a hidden door here on the right. Here on Dune. Look at all that water. Water on Dune. Can you imagine that? <clears throat> so this is out of the book. Um, they kind of had a little bit of a nod to this scene in the in the 2000 miniseries, um, where Jessica um, in the book goes to this room and she uses a palm like would you stop with your judgmental stare jessica seriously i'm trying to explain this my god so rude 
Um, so what ends up happening is, is that she finds there's a palm lock, and there's ways that Bene Gesserit can open palm locks. Usually they're only keyed to certain people. And she goes into this conservatory, okay, like a big greenhouse that that Count Hazemir Fenring built for his lady, Margot Fenring. Again, seriously, stop with that. Oh my, I'm staying here. Yeah, stay here then. Jeez, get off me. Um, so she goes in and she finds this room, and then basically, like after Paul's attack by the Hunter Seeker in the in the book. He goes there and he immerses the Hunter Seeker in the water just to make sure that it's absolutely dead. Um, and so this is kind of an homage to that sequence um, there. Oh my! I can't find... This is so beautiful. Even my father doesn't. Did I tell you about my father? I'm the daughter of Liet Kimes, the planetologist. I'd like you to meet him. I understand now. That's what Stilger had in mind when he introduced you to me. <laughs> anyway, let's go. I'll show you the way. First, we go to Oxton Tower. I'd prefer Stilgar to come along with us. Okay, so now we have to go grab Stilgar. Okay. Hmm? Yes, Muadim. I am with you. Okay. Let's look at the mirror, we'll save really fast. Okay. The mirror. Hello, Mark. Whoops, that's not the right place. And dead brain. I forgot. Deserted sieges. Oh, I love telling you about my native world. There are no Fremen troops here. Someone was here at one time. Select destination Unmanned Desert Westward. So, this is a uh... The Writing of the Worms is um, an homage to, of course, Paul writing the sandworm um, and like seeing the, the Fremen writing sandworms and different things like that. And if you've seen Dune Part 2, then you'll know that those effing worms can move. I mean, they are just like, Mew! it's flipping crazy. Like, I mean, they were moving faster than cars in some respects. <laughs> That's insane. I don't know if I ever explained this, but, um... If you click one of these two arrows on the side here, you can change your heading. If you press this arrow, it just keeps you going straight. Okay. click back to starting point it just immediately warps you back to your starting desk you're starting wherever you started if you go click towards the nearest place like there on the left um, if you click 
um, towards the nearest place, you will change your heading to go towards whatever the nearest siege or village or whatever is. Um, and then if you click, like, change destination or whatever, um, it will, uh, it will, you can actually, like, change, you, it will take you back to your, to your, uh, little map screen, and it will allow you to choose a new direction to go in, so, like, you can point where you want to go. Ah, my dear daughter Shandy. Yes, father. I brought someone for you to meet. I see. I see. Paul Atreides, the famous Muad'Dib. Now, what's interesting is, is that around um, his uh, around his still suit here, he has the um, the similar rope that, like, the Fremen use in the in the um, David Lynch film to. Um, to ride the worms, okay? Um, in fact, if you look at the cover of it, you can actually see um, Paul, like, wearing that rope in the picture. Stilgar didn't tell me, but I thought you should meet him. It would be interesting to tell him about your experiments. Perhaps it could be. He's a great leader. He's already discovered many sieges and has rallied many troop chiefs. You're right, both of you. I will show him everything I know. And of course, um, Liet Kynes um, was played by um, uh, Max von Sydow in the 1984 David Lynch version. He was played by um, Kareel Dobry in um, in the 2000 miniseries. Interestingly enough, um, Kareel Dobry um, also played um, a uh, Fremen in the 2003 miniseries. Plus, he was also um, in um, the original Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise and John Voight. Um, he was an assistant to uh, Max, the arms dealer, played by Vanessa Redgrave. Um, in the 2021 Dune um, Part 1, it was played by a female, um, which I'm okay with. I said that in my review. I, like, didn't have a, a problem with someone being, you know, you know, with gender-swapping a character like Kynes. You've seen this planet, a big desert. Outer worlds, people think of it only as a spice reservoir. But people here love their home world, and they would like it to be more habitable. I'm involved in vegetation experiments. A vegetation that would grow in the sands. I came to create a new kind of bulb. I've got some of them here. Come in the next room with me. So if we walk to the next room... Woo! As you can see, these bulbs are almost ready. They still need a little more care. What I would need is to have some Fremen troops to help work on them. I know some local sieges. Go and try to convince them to work with me. Oh yes, water. Go to the room on your left. You'll see. You are the first non-doom-born person allowed to see this, Paul. There are many caches like this one, Paul. It's the old Fremen dream. Vegetation on Arrakis. There is very slight humidity in the air on Arrakis. We use a wind trap to extract it, and it comes down and gathers here. We also have little quantities of the very special water of life. It is used by our few reverent mothers. The water of life extends consciousness. But only a few people are able to absorb it and live. Would you like to try it, Wadi? You are wise. Maybe someday you will be ready to drink the water of life. You don't want to do that. The old framing dream. Vegetation on Dune. We have the water. Have you seen the big reservoir here? And Kynes has bulbs. 
vegetation could be a weapon against the Harkonnens. Where there are plants, there cannot be spice. The only element the Harkonnens want. There are no Fremen troops here. So, basically, um, this is an homage to the scene where, um, after Paul and Jessica in the, in the original 84 Dune, um, meet the Fremen, they go down and they see this cache of water and you see the water dripping and it's kind of rippling out and that was kind of what they did. And funnily enough, even though this came out back in the early 90s, in the 2000 miniseries, when Cheney takes Paul down to show him this cache and he's like, wow, you know, I've seen this in my dreams. This is almost exactly what it looks like. It's pretty crazy. Paul, water of life is dangerous. Many men have tried it and died. Yes, they have. We're not ready for it yet. Oh, we could eventually, but not right now. See, these bulbs are almost ready. Okay, you're still you're still saying that. Okay, never mind then. All right. So. Let's go ahead and end this episode here. Um, so, um, wow, <laughs> what do we say? Um, well, let's, uh, let's look at the results here really quick before we um, decide to call in an episode. We've been here on Dune for 18 days. We have 10% um, of the areas controlled. The Harkonnens control 20%. Um, we have a charisma of 46 among the, uh, the Fremen. The uh, Harkonnens are producing 4,160 kilograms of spice per day. We are um, doing 2,320. They have 76,810 men. We have 25,910 men. And you can see kind of where we're at here, okay? So if we kind of look at the map, we can kind of see, like, you know, kind of how this works. And if we kind of move that over, we can kind of see. Now you can see here that the Harkonnens attacked our siege, okay? And so, yeah, we'll soon be ready to, um, to do that. Um, what, what you see here is sieges but they have no troops in them, okay? And because of that, we don't we don't see them doing anything right now, okay? Where these areas are, this is where we have men, okay? So like here, this is where we have our guys. And then you can see that we're butting up to the Harkonnens right here, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, as for um, the... Uh, as for the vegetation, um, I'll briefly explain what we can do with that. Um, so if we look at the spice density, right? Okay. If we look up here and we see that we that we see some you know places where the um, where the spice is low. Um, if some of these sieges, like let's say this siege, has a lot of water, right? So, if we go there with some Fremen who have bulbs, okay, um, we can actually use those bulbs, okay, to spread vegetation northwards. And what will happen is, is that we'll actually push the Harkonnens away from some of these areas, okay, because the, the Fremen... Um, because the, the Fremen, um, or because the, the Harkonnens only want one thing, spice. So if we push those out, then the Fremen, or then the, the Harkonnens will leave and we can go back and liberate this place and get our, get our guys back and then we can have them go and mine spice elsewhere. But just know that wherever you plant bulbs, the spice will no longer grow because there'll be, there'll be no worms there because worms hate water and so there'll be no spikes. That's the point, okay? So if that's what you want to do, if like if that's your kind of thing, then that's what you're going to do, okay? 
So, smash that like button, hit subscribe, drop a comment below, let me know what you think of this series so far. And I hope that you've enjoyed um, this Let's Play so far um, of Let's Play Dune for the, for the PC. And as we say, we will see you on the next one.